Do you want a YouTube video embed to autoplay? Maybe you want to add the Rick Roll video on your website to prank some people? Let's embed this video on our website. As you can see on the embed snippet, there's already an autoplay attribute. Let's copy this code. I'm using the Gutenberg editor. This will be a similar process if your builder has an HTML widget. We will try this with Elementor later. Notice how the video embedded with autoplay did not work. Now, let's try adding an autoplay parameter. Add a question mark after the video ID, then autoplay with a value of 1, which means true. Now the video autoplay with sound. But does it really autoplay with sound? Let's view this in an incognito browser, not logged in on our website. As you can see, it still didn't work. Let's try adding another parameter called mute with a value of 1. Finally, the YouTube video embeds autoplay but without the sound. Why is this happening? Chrome announced changes to its autoplay policy that take effect in December 2018. Users must interact with a browser item before audio or video starts. This is from the Chrome developer blog. Chrome's autoplay policies are simple. Muted autoplay is always allowed. Autoplay with sound is allowed if the user has interacted with the domain, click, tap, etc. On the desktop, the user's media engagement index threshold has been crossed, meaning the user has previously played a video with sound. The user has added the site to their home screen on mobile or installed the PWA on desktop. Top frames can delegate autoplay permission to their frames to allow autoplay with sound. Here's how to add the YouTube video using Elementor.